Today we'll be talking about uh, exclusively about displays of the echo sounders. So as far as the display of the depth on echo sounders is concerned, it can broadly be divided into two categories, echographs and echo meters. And today we'll be talking about both of them. So let's start with echographs here. So as the name suggests, uh, this type of echo sounders display and record the depth of the water on a special type of paper or also additionally on digitally on various types of displays. However, they must comply with certain performance standards as I will outline for you in this uh, video. Uh, so this type of echo sounder with uh, the echo graphs display has a number of inherent advantages over the other types. Uh, these are as follows because it provides a permanent record of soundings which can be very useful for legal purposes or inquiries or investigations or even inspections such as port state or flag state inspections especially if you had certain incidents which could be based on grounding uh, where the ship ran into a shallow patch so when the investigators come on board you can uh, use the evidence of the depth recorded to show them that you have you had done all the that you are required to do as per good seamanship that you were um, following the depth or recording the depth of the water and still the ship ran aground all right the rate of change of depth can also be clearly seen here to get an early warning all right so these type of displays uh, because they are recording the contours of the seabed and as well as the depth you can see the rate of change of the depth as well all right uh, one thing you have to remember is that these echo sounders need or these echo graphs rather need to be marked with the voyage number, the date of the voyage, uh, the time that you started the recording and the time you stopped the recording because otherwise it's just a big roll of paper uh, and if the investigators come on board they ask you to produce an evidence of the sounding recorded uh, you will not be able to really find out which part of this paper was recording the sounding so you have to be very careful about that. So these days of course modern day echographs they also record the contours of the seabed along with the depth of the water and uh, this is a useful evidence that you can produce uh, if any investigation is taking place all right sometimes the bottom line can also be seen even if a proportion of the echoes are either false or lost all right uh, the measurement of depth and its display is performed by one simple mechanism so this is a very simple mechanism and all echoes are displayed so as you can see even with modern day echographs uh, this is kind of a view where it's also showing the contours of the seabed and uh, you can see the profile of the seabed here as well. So this is these kind of echographs are maybe not normally used on commercial vessels. These are normally used on vessels which are engaged in hydrographic surveys um, or seismic surveys and they are the ones who use these kind of echographs but you never know maybe your company can supply you with such echographs such modern day echographs which also provides you with a detailed contour of the seabed. All right. Like I said, uh, most of the echoes are displayed. Sometimes uh, even echoes of a fish can be displayed or sc uh, schools of fish are displayed as well. All right. Uh, these are the advantages and properties of the echographs. Uh, they provide a graphical display of the depth, a permanent record to show in case of investigations, change in depth is displayed, seabed profile can be displayed, works on simple mechanics and all echoes are displayed as well. All right. The thermal paper that we use here is uh, intentionally used because the thermal paper is heat resistant and uh, when uh, you need a heat resistant paper in this case is because as the stylus is moving on the paper it generates a lot of heat because it's a mechanical kind of an action so the stylus is moving on a fast rotating belt because of which a lot of heat is generated so you cannot use a normal paper here for recording you get special thermal paper and you must order this special thermal paper from the manufacturers so that uh, you can use this for depth recording otherwise normal paper will tear or it will not be able to resist the, the, the heat that is generated by the stylus. All right. Now let's move into echo meters. Now echo meters are uh, actually digital displays and uh, sometimes uh, you have echo meters supplied along with echo graphs which is a very good idea uh, because uh, uh, these type of the displays show the instantaneous depth. Uh, they are as, not as useful as the echographs, but they may still be fitted as an additional aid while berthing or maneuvering the vessel 
in or out of the harbor, especially when it's low depths of water. Uh, so this helps the master or the pilot or whoever is birthing the vessel to take a quick glance because uh, sometimes on the echographs, it's not, uh, it's not very convenient to just take a quick glance and get the depth. But these echometers which show the depth digitally, they provide you with a, uh, the depth of the water through a quick glance. All right. And um, that helps in maneuvering operations when the when, when it gets very busy and the, the birthing officer or the pilot or the master has to take care of a lot of things. Uh, just quickly knowing the depth of the water helps in the maneuvering operations. All right. Uh, but these type of uh, echo meters, as per SOLAS, uh, cannot replace a recording type of echo sounder. And the reason is because the echographs uh, provide with uh, evidence, they provide with some graphical record which can be produced as evidence and these echometers do not. So that's why if you have echometers on your vessel which are providing only with digital displays, you need some kind of uh, recording device such as the echographs or some recording device which records the depth of the water that was being monitored throughout the voyage. Alright, other than echographs and other echometers, there are some other types of echo sounders which show visual displays on a colored CRT monitor and but they are used in small boats and they are not suited for the serious deep sea marina. Alright, so if you are on commercial vessels, if you are on uh, vessels uh, which are prone to inspections by port state, flag state controls, you need to have the echographs for sure. The echometers can be an additional display that is there on your vessel to just help you with uh, checking out the depth of the water in emergencies or during maneuvering operations. Alright, so this was a short lecture in the series of echo sounders. I have previously recorded a lecture on the principle of echo sounder, that is the echo ranging principle, how it measures the depth of the water. I'll provide you with a link of that video along with the description below. And uh, I will keep making some videos on the series of echo sounders for you to enhance your understanding of the instrument. Alright, I'll see you guys soon with your my, my, my next